Hey folks, as promised, I'm doing a quick review on the Pearl Remote Hi-Hat RH2050. I've been using this for a few years now and uh, just wanted to get rid of some misconceptions about this thing, but uh, it's been an awesome hi-hat. So I'm just going to show you briefly what's included and uh, kind of go over how I set this up. So obviously it comes with the already assembled uh, hi-hat with the cable and the clutches on there and it comes with some uh, hex keys drum key and cam set the black cam is installed on there as you can see and that's the one i left on there because it's uh it's pretty natural feeling there's no adjustment i need to make with that so let me show you what this thing looks like unfolded so this thing comes flat and then you just plug that in there you have to loosen the keys in the back you just plug that in and since i can barely do this one-handed watch so i did it with two hands instead and put the camera down so once that's set up you just tighten these two keys here keep that in place it's got the nice double chain on there it's a very very smooth pedal um you do have the adjustment here that allows you to when you loosen that slide the footboard back and forth i like sliding it forward i like a little bit more of an angle it's i think about midway right now then you've got the uh, leg adjustments here you've got uh one on the back so when you get it behind your kit you can actually pivot the legs side to side so you can fit it right in where your kit goes and um on the legs themselves, you've got the option of either a rubber foot, as you can see there, or if you loosen that key right there, turn that 90 degrees, you've got spikes on there. You also have spikes on the bottom of the pedal, and I found those to be sufficient. So um, getting it into your kit next to your uh, left bass drum pedal, if you have one, and as you may know, my bass drum is on the left-hand side, even though I'm a righty player. I use the lefty double pedal there to play this thing so I can drop my toms flat. Check out my alternative ergonomics for drums video to see how I have this set up like that. You can look at a lot of drum covers and see me playing it, but um, I play with the center hi-hat position. And I use, uh, there's a lot of different ways to mount this, which is cool. I'm just using one of these uh, 7 8 inch rods that Pearl has going right into a Pearl stand base. I've got one of what I call the threesome adapters. It's a three-way adapter, so I've got my toms on that. And I just mount the hi-hat right to this post. And uh, I did some adjusting, but uh, I figured out how to make it work for me. Now, as far as the clamp itself, I believe this is a Gibraltar. I don't know, man. I bought this so many years ago. But it allows angle adjustments on both ends. And then you can also uh, pull it apart and if you needed to change it. But I don't know why you'd want to do a 90-degree hi-hat. So, yeah, I barely have this uh, adjusted. The angles, you can kind of see where I've got them. So it's putting it up in the air a little bit. So that allows you to easily change the height. And I'll show you what that looks like mounted. There's a clamp mounted to the stand to the uh, 7 8 inch bar. And I do have a pearl memory lock underneath it. So I know exactly which way it needs to go. Now, um, people worry about the cable on this thing. And yeah, you're going to have a cable. I think that's a 6 foot cable. You're going to have a cable, something to do with it. In my case, I get to just wrap it around the front of my bass drum. And uh, I haven't had a singer or guitar player trip over it yet. They're pretty aware of my kit. And they steer, steer clear of me as it is because I think they might be intimidated by me <laughs> joking. But let me show you um, kind of how I route this. Since I've got my drum set up, that's not normally how I do it. The hi-hat's one of the first things to go up after I put the bass drum in. I put that stand in without the toms on it, and then I route the hi-hat, put in the bass drum pedals, and then start plugging the drums in. So let me show you what this looks like when I have it in the kit. Okay, so here is the cable. You can see that running. I've got mic cables around there too, but you can see this U-shaped cable right here. 
that is the hi-hat cable and it doesn't go up much higher than the bass drum here it's really not in my way i've got it kind of uh in harmony with the rest of the kit one thing i forgot to show you was the uh spring tension adjustment on the business part of this where i mount it just like a regular pearl hi-hat stand you pull that thing down and turn it and change the spring tension adjustment to suit uh the uh, your preferred tension and the way you play but yeah there it is mounted i just mount it right to the bottom here as far as the height i want i can always slide that up you've got about three inches where you can slide that up um it's right where i like it i like it kind of flat um and i do have my uh adjustment right here in the back of course the clutch where it needs to be that is a drop pedal clutch i'll show you that here in a minute too but let's go around to the uh footboard and i'll show you how i set that up rh 2050 does come with an additional felt and you can see the threads on there and um there's a, like a nut that you can screw on there i don't use that i just set that uh bottom one down there flush if you want to tighten it you can put that on but i just let that swing freely the uh clutch is a pearl drop clutch and it's a really nice one because it's uh jeff wald did a four minute video on this clutch i don't think he's using a uh a cable hi-hat though i think he's using traditional but he does play double bass and he did a four minute review on the clutch itself but this is what comes with the unit and i'll show you real quick how that goes in i mean it's i can do this one-handed because you just pinch these two together and lift it off separate it and then there's your felt and uh, let me go ahead and put this thing together as i showed you earlier um you can go with either the rubber feet or the rubber ends the tips to the legs or the spikes um i just take the legs off you know why because i don't need them um i've got a cymbal stand right there and this pedal's right next to the bass drum pedal my left bass drum pedal probably even Move it up a little bit more, but um, don't have any problem without uh, legs on there. This hasn't fallen over or even come close. Uh, there are two spikes on the bottom have been adequate. You could even put Velcro on there if you wish. At the, that front strip of metal, uh, probably even under the heel plate. But no, that hasn't even fallen over. That's, that's pretty sturdy. It's a good piece of kit, as they say in Great Brit. Um... But yeah, I've got the hats on here, and um, uh, to dispel any myths or uh, uh, rumors that people who probably have never used one of these um, have been saying that there's lag, um, there's no lag. If there was lag, this wouldn't be a product. DW makes cable hats. Uh, Griffin makes a cheap one for like 131 bucks on eBay. You want to try this out for less than the cost of this you might want to try one of those i don't know what the performance is like on it so i can't speak for them but those are the least expensive ones made but uh yeah dw i've owned one of those i just don't like the mechanism it's 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 pretty big this big metal monstrosity they have but it worked well uh trick makes them uh tom i believe makes an iron cobra version of them I know they made a mechanical one with linkage like a bass drum pedal that Bill Bruford used, which was basically the inspiration I had for having a center hi-hat. But uh, no, this cable, while there's plastic on it, there's a cable inside. This is not made of elastic, folks. So if there's, if there's somebody that has an issue with lag, um, I don't know what to tell them. They might have a frayed cable or something like that, but... Um, I mean, you can adjust the tension. There is the spring tension adjustment, just like on a regular pedal. You can interchange the cams, which basically uh, will lighten or tighten the feel of the action while, uh, you know, also affecting the velocity of the action itself from pushing the pedal to uh, that closing and opening. But uh, I've not had a problem with it. It's just been a fantastic deal. Now, I do mount this on the Tom's. Uh, same stand with my two toms. So yeah, when when I do uh, 
when I do use it, it shakes the toms a little bit. But, you know, if you're worried about your tom shaking, uh, if that's really an issue for you, maybe take up needlepoint or something. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I shouldn't be that way, but I am that way. But, uh, yeah, it's a great utility um to have a hi-hat you can put pretty much anywhere. Um, as you can see, you know, I've got the kit with the gong drum and uh, toms around me here and uh, no room for a regular hi-hat. So being able to put things where I want them is important to me. And uh, I've, I've been using this for years and it's never failed me. It's fantastic. Just take care of it. Make sure to uh, keep the nuts tight. Put a wrench on there every once in a while. Just make sure that's snug. Be careful transporting it and um, if you have wolverines at home or in your practice space maybe try to keep them away from that because they could probably chew right through that uh, metal cable but uh, it's a great piece I really recommend the Pearl RH 2050 remote hi-hat and uh, just let me know in the comments below your experience with this model with the regular eliminator model um with any other brand hi-hat let me know if you have had any issues with these but um again you know you can make it feel just like a regular hi-hat i've got a regular hi-hat on my practice kit um which is my uh, ethel kit the black yamaha kit that's at the rehearsal space now with the standard hi-hat just plugged it right into the side and i could do the same thing here if i move the gong drum out of the way i could drop a regular hi-hat in there it'd be a little bit more you know, I'd have to spread my legs a little bit more on that, but um, if I had to do it, I could do it. And if this ever failed for any reason, this cable failed, I would just, you know, I'd just drop it and just play it closed or just have it slightly open. But uh, I'm not worried about that. Haven't had an issue with it. I may buy a backup just to have it or to have it on my rehearsal kit. Let me know what you think of this or any uh, remote hi-hat pedal that you have used. And thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Like the video if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I do have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up whenever I reach that milestone, so you can check out the video on the details of that and win something pretty cool if I randomly choose your name. But uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it.